Yo, what up? It's your boy, Ewa Boxing Profits, bringing that toe-to-toe -to -toe value that's undisputed in this industry. Be sure to watch this whole video to get max value out of it. Like the video, share the video, become a subscriber too, so we can continue to bring value to the sport we all love, and that's boxing your day. So let's get straight to it. We headed to the 126, the featherweight division, with a current longest reigning WBC champion there in that division, Gary Russell Jr., is making a complete fool out of himself. Man, oh man, it's been a devastating past 72 hours for Gary Russell Jr. And he's learning a valuable lesson that talking a lot increases your chances of saying some shit you ain't supposed to say. You know? Like I said, like I've been saying over and over again, bro, if y'all been keeping up with these videos, bro, and I appreciate y'all for sharing these videos, man. I really, really do. I see y'all. Thank y'all for all of y'all support. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep cooking up this heat, you dig? So, Gary Russell Jr., man, I, I just don't understand how Gary done got this far along in his career and just started making error after error after error after error. It's like he just fumbling and tripping all over himself now. You know what I'm saying? It's because he's in uncharted territory. Like, I understand that this man was just trying to stir up waters to catch fish. He was trying to uh, utilize one of the 48 laws of power. But instead of reading the full book, he just took one little insert and ran with it and thought that that was a good idea, right? That's just like taking a supplement, right? You know what I'm saying? Like a supplement like iron or magnesium, you know, just to name a few. You know, bro, that shit not really going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the whole thing in this whole totality. You know what I'm saying to you? You got to get the whole thing. So what am I saying with this, right? Is that Gary Russell Jr. has basically not only made himself look like a complete fool, in front of the entire boxing world, right, on a consistent basis as of lately. But the sad part about it is, is that he basically has waved the white flag before the war with Devin Haney even started, bro. Like, bro, that, that's, that's some cold-blooded shit right there. You know what I'm saying? We can't even call it a cold war. You know what I mean? But to say that you got this much fear, you know what I mean? Like, so I need, I need, I need y'all to really... Use y'all critical thinking skills with this one. Let's all put our thinking caps on. Because this nigga talking all cap, but he ain't got no fucking thinking cap on. So let's do the thinking for this motherfucking nigga right quick, right? So, all these motherfucking years, like I say, this nigga have a what? A nine? He has a, a seven fight average over the course of nine years or so, right? That's a bad fucking average, bro. That's a horrible, that's a negative batting average. You know what I'm saying? So not only is he in the lows when it comes to his statistics and ratios, but we have to really begin to wonder if Gary Russell Jr. has played this same hand, has played these same cards throughout his entire career. I mean, Dan Raphael just posted up something on Twitter. Now, you know when Dan Raphael starts throwing his two cents in the pot. You know what I'm saying? You, you already know. You, you, Gary Russell Jr., you looking bad out here, son. When Dan Rayfield start calling you out, bro, this dude literally said that Gary Russell is full of shit. That all the way back in 2014 or 2015 or something like that, that um he asked him about, you know, uh, fighting somebody. I forgot the name of the person. And Gary Russell Jr. is like, man, I ain't no rush to do these things, man. I'm comfortable. Nigga, what? Nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. That was like six, seven years ago, bro. So the same way he was carrying himself then is the same way he's carrying himself now. But he made a critical mistake when he started running his mouth over some shit that happened like 15, 20 years ago. Let's not forget that now. Gary Russell Jr. was identified as a fuck nigga when he was talking that shit about Terrence Bud Crawford for some shit that happened when these niggas was in fucking middle schools, huh? Like, that's crazy. You dig? So he made his, he made it itself, you know, I guess, I don't know, bro. I, 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 to me, that was error number one. And it just snowballed into this big-ass avalanche of confusion, right? So, man, neither here nor that, bro, because I got over 100 gigs of data and YouTube talking about Gary Russell Jr. It's all facts. The first Gary Russell video that I posted on my channel, Go all the way back and look at it. And 
listen to the entire video. Everything I said about Gary Russell has come to fruition right now, right? It's come to reality. And, and you know, I even hate to take credit for talking this shit into existence because I really want to see him fight Devin the Dream Haney. But obviously, this nigga's scared. You dig? In my bishop voice. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get it right. Man, this nigga's scared. You dig? Like, bro, rest in peace to the great Tupac Shakur. I hate to even align that nigga's spirit up with Gary Russell Jr. right now at this time. But Gary Russell Jr., it makes me wonder, bro, is if you've been doing this shit your entire career and we just didn't know. We ain't start knowing about this shit until you start running your fucking mouth. Then you bit off more than you can chew. Now you choking on it. And, and motherfuckers can't even save you doing a high neck maneuver. Like, bro, this is looking bad out here for Gary Russell Jr., bro. I mean, like I say, man, I can go on and on and on and on with this, right? It's because this is why I don't fuck with flip flash. Floppy, fishy niggas, fidgety niggas, you know what I'm saying? Fugazi niggas. However the fuck you want to look at it. Fuck boys. We could just go down the F line with this shit. It's because it's flipping ridiculous how this dude just totally fabricated an entire career. And it's all come to a head right in front of our eyes. I guess what they say, what goes on in the dark comes to light, right? So everything that Gary Russell Jr. has been doing all this time, basically just been, I don't know, man, just been just, just tiptoeing through the, through the tulips, you know? And, and now, here we are, when it's go time. This nigga in his early 30s, and I ain't gonna take up too much more of y'all time with this shit, bro, because I could go on and on and on and on and on and on. You know what I'm saying? Just, just ripping this nigga to shreds, but that's not, my, that's not my point. That's not my principle in this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's because, dog, when you're a scary-ass nigga, I'm going to let you have it, bro. It's because you the type of nigga going to get somebody bodied in war, nigga. You the type of nigga that's going to freeze up. You the type of nigga, yo, G, you ain't going to jam, nigga, when it's time to fucking light up a blocker, light up a nigga right quick. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Your shit going to be the one that's going to jam. You dig? Just like Michael Jackson. You dig? And, and, and Michael Jordan. You understand? But for all the wrong reasons, though. I hate to even mention this nigga name in the same breath of those living legends. That's how bad it's looking for Gary Russell Jr. right now, son. Like, I, I don't think I... No, 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 no. Because I'm about to put this nigga in the Ca Canelo Alvarez category. You know what I'm saying? But Canelo is pretty bad, bro. Canelo got some some years of being a whole hoe out here. And see, he, he the expert at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Canelo is the grandmaster of being a whole whole out here. You know what I'm saying? Gary Russell Jr., it's like this nigga's just a dun 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 of, of being a whole whole out here. He the, he the dun 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 whole whole out here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, it's like you, man, I could just keep going on and on and on. He like the dumbass nigga in the hood. You know what I'm saying? That just do some stupid ass shit that everybody just be like shaking their head like, oh, this nigga really that stupid, son? Yep. Yep, he really is. You know what I'm saying? Because he did all that talking and now when it's go time, what is this motherfucking nigga to be found? It appears that everybody done gave the green light for the fight to happen. All the big wigs, all the fat cats. You know, I done talked about all this shit already. It seems like, you know what I'm saying, I done set the tone for a lot of niggas. Information is because I'm seeing my footprints and fingerprints all over this boxing uh, game right now. And shouts out to y'all. You dig? It's all good. I'm glad. That y'all find value in my videos. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. Trust me, I find value in y'all's too. We all in this together. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You dig? It's, it's a big system, and we all influence each other some way, somehow. But the thing is, bro, this is going to be the last thing I say about this nigga, son. I swear to God today, bro. It's because, dog, this shit is just ridiculous, bro. Is that we done came all this long way. For nothing, bro. You feel me? It's like make. It's like this nigga just took a blank trip on his career. It's like, bro. Have y'all ever heard of a nigga taking a blank trip on their career, dog? Like that is just some magnificent, mind blowing shit. It, only a fuck nigga could 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 be capable of doing something like this. I mean, dog. 
like I say, bro, I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, it's Gary Russell Jr., uh, Canelo Alvarez, Julio Cesar Chavez. Who else in that mix? I can't put Terrence Bud Crawford. He on the bench. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put Bud in the, in, the, in the star lineup, in this star lineup. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, who else out here, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's looking like a whole whole out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to throw Devonta St. Davis in the mix like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, I'm going to leave it to y'all, man. Who are the last two niggas of the, of the, of the fuckboy squad? You know what I'm saying? The start fuckboy squad. Start fuck nigga squad. You did? Y'all leave them two niggas down in the comment section below. It's your boy Evil Box of Profit signing down to the next one. God damn, man. These niggas. You know what I'm saying, bro? Ending up fires in hell, bro. These niggas start doing all this dumb shit. That bitch. Go ahead. You feel me? Yeah, man. I had to stop in this motherfucking Walgreens parking lot and record this video right fast. You know what I'm saying? You dig? Because, man, all this shit I'm hearing on YouTube right now, bro. It's like, God damn, nigga done predicted. Nigga, nigga cross examine all this shit, bro. It's like, God damn, dog. It's like, man, is this shit for real? Like, yeah, nigga. It's like over and over again, bro. The same way I break down and solve problems in life. Now, I'm not bragging and drinking my own Kool-Aid, bro. I'm really, really a humble nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all, bro, anytime that there's a problem, I sit back, dog. I just take my time. I pull out my notebook. I sit out somewhere and just get my mind right. And I just come up with a plan to solve this fucking problem. I swear to God, that's exactly what I do. It don't matter what problem it is. But this shit here with Gary Russell Jr. was simple, bro. It was very, very simple. Well, anyway, man, I'm not going to keep calling in on Kerry Russell Jr., bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know who the last two starters of the fuckboy squad is. It's Canelo Alvarez. He the point guard. Gary Russell Jr. is the shooting guard. Julio Cesar Chavez. He the small forward. Who, who the power forward and who the center for the fuckboy squad? Y'all leave your comments down in the section below. Support you with Box of Profits. Sign out to the next one. Holla at your boy. One take, nigga. One hundred. Woo.